Students on the witness stand testified today about their classmate who drowned at school, and the substitute teacher accused in the death will be heading to trial. We are live at East Point now. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash is there with the newest developments now from the courtroom. Anu. Well, Joanne, it is the outcome that they wanted, but for Kier Swift's loved ones, it was a really emotional day in court. Take a look inside the courtroom. You can see Kier's mother there in the red, right in the front row. Her cries could be heard as witnesses testified about her son Kier's last moments. Back on November 8th at East Detroit High School during swim class, Kier Swift started to drown. Jonathan Sales was a substitute teacher who prosecutors say is criminally responsible for Swift's death. They say not only did he lie about having lifeguard certification, they say Sales can't even swim. And when students yelled that Kier was having trouble in the pool, they say Sales was in no hurry to help. He even went to the locker room first. He asked if what was going on, and then uh, we told him that Kier drowned, and then uh, he started laughing and told her that we just playing. When he goes to the locker room and comes back, does he has he changed his clothing at all? Uh, he took off his shirt. Has he jumped in at this point? No. Has he moved quickly at this point? No. Has he called for help? No. Has he asked any of you to help? No. Is he saying anything other than he thinks that you guys are fooling around? No. Now, those students also testified that Sales jumped into the pool but quickly said it was just too deep. Ultimately, a security guard eventually pulled Kier out of the pool. He was taken off of life support a few days later. His mother tells me that she is relieved, of course, that Sales was bound over for trial, but she thinks many others are to blame, too. I lost my son because the school is unorganized all the way around and everybody should pay. The school needs to be shut down because they're unorganized and I shouldn't have lost my son. Now, the defense attorney for Jonathan Sales says that the lead teacher was the one who left Sales in charge that day, and he says, while what happened was a tragedy, it was not a crime, but in the end, of course, the judge agreed with the prosecution, binding this over for trial. Jonathan Sales is expected back in court later this month. Reporting live in East Point, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Anu, thank you.